Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be going over the centre plaza of the Town of the Beginnings and you can see here we have the clock tower, the main arches around that and the flooring pattern as well. Now this is the area where all the characters spawn in at the start of the game or the start of SAO and the anime and you can see we've started to build it here. Now the overall plan is to do more of SAO but this is where we're at so far. I'm going to be posting update videos with time lapses and sort of an overview look of the build. So you can see here if we're just going to go up and I'm going to show you around the world or show you around this build so far. So I hope you enjoy the video. So we first started off with a circle base shape as you can see here so we're building out and we do go out from there as the original design we didn't really like or we did like but we have seen other designs which were a lot bigger and as you can see here these brick designs and floor patterns we didn't like as well. So we did replace that all with this grey sort of design as you can see here and then this is the initial arch design and the clock tower. However, once we've tried this out, we then chose to build it a step bigger and we redesigned the clock tower and the arches and the roofing. You can see we start to raise it up a bit and that is because we're going to be putting the arches in front of that and then adding some detail behind that so it doesn't look plain and boring once we start doing the town area. So you can see this is sort of the detail behind that with just one plain block and then the bushes and then the slab on top of that so you can see that pattern's just repeated every two or three as you can see here and then we're just going to do that all the way around and complete the pattern and then it's going to look like nice and detailed so in the actual build people will be able to see it and it'll be an extra add-on around the houses so you can see here this is the floor design we went with which is a mix of cobblestone and stone and a couple of other bricks now we did try and place buttons and pressure plates down but we didn't particularly like how it looked and some of the others believed that the buttons looked good but sort of chose to remove them just because it ended up looking messy with it all there and we'd already got the cobblestone and everything so it just looked a bit too messy. So you can see this is the bucket of KFC we had in the last video and I'm trying to put a chicken in it so you can see I pushed it in there. but it jumps out but yeah so we're gonna have a bucket of KFC in every episode now so watch out for that because I'm not gonna mention it in every video and then from there Bennett Bento added the thing where we step on the pressure plate and it comes up with a welcome to SAO title now on the start of the video you do see it with the light blue and dark blue and in this part it is yellow now Right now, currently, we have it as the light blue and dark blue. However, I am trying to get the guys to change it to yellow because it looks a lot better, in my personal opinion, especially when it's around this sort of area of the town plaza. But this is Bennett Bento's design of the, the towers or the pillars coming up, and I'm just sort of repeating it. So we're going all the way up, and I'm just going to copy it on every side. 
and then making sure it is even with the sort of layout we put down and then from there we're going to add the roof in over the top. So just to make you guys aware as well is that this build is going to take a very long time. Now we are hoping that the progression, I believe that's what's called, series of SAO will be coming out where it shows every single floor, most likely up to floor 75 and we will then be able to build all those because our big plan overall is to do every single floor of SAO. Now that is a big goal so it's going to take us a long time and we don't have a lot of time to film it as well. Now I will be making this in and out of other videos as well like I'm going to be carrying on with my Doctor Who TARDIS, my Gotham City, my how to videos, my GTA videos and maybe some other games like um, Battlefront or Fortnite or whatever you guys want but I am going to be carrying on with this and the main things that I have been doing in the past as well so don't worry about if you think that I'm not going to be doing that so try and stick along for all of it if not don't worry but it would mean a lot if you guys could turn on the bell icon if you haven't already please subscribe now you can see here once we've got the pillars up and going then from there I started piling in the roof and just sort of following the design of the pillars and leaving gaps between that. And then after that I filled in the gaps and started adding in a couple more blocks just to sort of make it look a bit even. As you can see it looks a bit messy and then I just added that one more and it started to look a bit less. But it will look even better once we start to add in the tops of the roof. And then you can see on the next part here, once we've got the arches in I then start to raise it up. and. I'm also got the blue lanterns or lamps, whatever you call them. Got them on the side as well, just sort of add a bit of light and different colour as well. So this is what the top of the roofs look like. Now it isn't 100% even, but I do like how they turned out and it is quite satis satisfying when you fly over it. Uh, it looks quite good. Now it would mean a lot if you guys could like and comment on this video as it did take us a while just to do this. And if you didn't like it, then don't like it. Please don't dislike, uh, we tried really hard on this and spent a lot of time. So please keep the comments quite positive and maybe if you want to give us any ideas or anything to suggest about what we could be doing in this build and what else we could be doing then just leave it down below and we can definitely try and add it in. And as well as that, if these videos aren't coming out as often as you would like don't be alarmed, it's just because we haven't had time to build or that one build is taking really long as we are planning to do the whole town of beginnings and then further on the whole floor one, floor two, plus the dungeons and everything in there. So stay tuned, but it may take a while and I am going to be doing update videos and all of that. Then from there we just are just about completed and I'm going to turn it into slow mode just so you guys can see it more clearly and it's exactly the same as what I've got in the start of the video where I've zoomed all the way around so this is just sort of a full look of what we have done now I hope you guys stick along and check out more of my videos and hopefully stay tuned for more SAO videos see you in the next one